this is just a short video on something I'm working with my Apex Evo long range quad and I've noticed in the video I'm using the O3 air unit as the main camera and as most people would know it's rather susceptible to, to vibration these are the uh, supports that are supplied by Apex and uh, they're printed out TPU but if you look that's really stiff so it's not really doing a very good job of uh, reducing that vibration so I bought some third party TPU printed ones and this is a tiny bit more flexible but still not really a big improvement on the originals so what I've done is I've decided not to print TPU ones but rather to mould my own silicon supports so what I've done here let me just show you one out is I've downloaded a 3P I've downloaded a 3D model of this which is available on Thingiverse and I've used it as a negative in a block and printed a negative basically a mould and I've poured silicon into this now this silicon is very very soft it's actually mold making silicon it's what you would mold put around something you wanted to make a copy mold of so the result of what i've got out here this is the uh what's come out of the other hole here and you can see that's incredibly flexible in fact it's probably a little bit too flexible I think this has a shore hardness of about four or five but uh, I found that the original because I had cut if you look at the, uh, the design here it has a a little chamfer here so I couldn't mold the chamfer so this ended up being a little bit too thin so I modified it a little bit to make a deeper mold here and I've also taken out that little hole pin in the middle so this is a deeper version of the same and I've molded them again out of the same material and when the weather gets a bit better and the sunshine comes out hopefully I will uh, test them I also have some slightly less flexible silicon on order so hopefully uh, if these are a bit too soft I can mold some that are a bit harder these are so soft I've actually printed a little bracket on the other side so, so the uh, bolts don't go through the silicon but you can see that's very flexible but also held quite nicely so I'm going to try this if necessary I'll try out a slightly higher uh, strength silicon and uh, we'll see how it goes but I'm quite pleased with that just received today the other silicon and and I've molded this this silicon is more like a oh, what do you call it it'd be like the epoxy you mix together to for rad, rad welds and things so it wasn't very liquid so there's a little inclusion here where it didn't quite Let's see if it'll focus. A little inclusion here where it didn't quite fill the mould. They come out okay. Here's the other one. It seemed to come out better. You don't get very long to work on it. It literally was like five minutes and it was starting to set off. So you have to mix it fairly and use it fairly quickly. But you can see this is in between. It's not as flexible as the other silicon but it's far more flexible than the TPU 
And this was a test I did uh, this past weekend. And unfortunately, the ultra soft silicon actually made it worse. So the next time I fly this quad, I'll try it with the slightly harder silicon. Hopefully that will be uh, the panacea for shakes. And finally, the weather allowed me to fly. I needed a sunny day to show up any uh, shakes. And in particular, all these flights have been done without any ND filters on, just to make certain I saw any vibrations that came from the mount. And I'm pretty happy with this. So I would say the really soft silicon, too soft. It was actually bouncing. But this silicon, which is the uh, mold making sugar craft silicon, absolutely lovely. And it's pretty cheap to buy. So that's what I'm going to be using for now.